wait to show you around. So the uh, plan is going to head across to the southwestern side of the lake. There's a beautiful little bay over there and a nice little point which it's got shells all over it. It looks like it was once an uh, Aboriginal pit and I'm hopeful no one will be there and that's where I'm planning on spending the night. So might sail across, we'll see, there's not a lot of breeze, but we might sail across. We'll just see what it's like once we get away from here, where we are. Now viewers, that island there, which I cannot remember the name of at the moment, and I will find out for you, is actually uh, sacred or a very meaningful um, ground, cultural ground, to the local uh, Aboriginal people. And please uh, respect uh, that and don't go on it. There's no need to. There's no signs that say don't go on it, but it is... It, yeah, it's just not cool. So if you happen to come down to Wallaga Lake and you see this beautiful little island over there, certainly have a look at it, but yeah, don't go on. So on tonight's menu, we have bush tomato and kangaroo sausages with a Greek salad. How multicultural.
Right, well, bush tomato and kangaroo sausages with Greek salad. Excellent. Whoa. That's a nice camp oven. Yeah. We brought these little fellas uh, back from Thailand. They actually worked on Thai fish on the reef. Let's see if they work on Australian fish. Me, man, make fire. Good. Every time I've come to Wally the Lake, I've seen some seals. There's actually a seal colony? A group of seals. You know, the murder of crows? Okay. They call it a group of seals. Anyway, um, it's a group of seals. I think they're over here at the moment. I can't really tell the distance. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. But it's going to quietly motor over, quietly motor over. Yes, I'm going to motor over there as quietly as I can. Let's see if we can uh, see the seals. Well, no seals today. We're well, not there anyway. Maybe they're uh, pining for the fjords. 
Now that big mountain you can see over there used to be called Mount Dromedary. Dromedary? Dromedary, yes. Mount Dromedary. It's now called Galaga. Is that right? I can never pronounce these Aboriginal words properly. Galaga. Galaga. Sounds like the computer game. But anyway, I, I believe that the Yuan people, which I'm pretty sure the Yuan people, they're the people from Shoalhaven down to Eden, I think, if my, if my memory serves me correct, they called it Mother Mountain, and you can sort of understand why. It's big. It's like the mother of all this area. That's pretty important stuff, I think. It's a beautiful mountain. Oh well, Thailand will do work. Now, uh, having only two winches on this boat and flying a headsail and a uh, Code Zero at the same time means you've got to be a little bit inventive. Bit of a tangled web back there, but it works. Well, it works until my autopilot gets broken because I just realised the sheet's going across the autopilot. I guess I better fix it. If we drop the sails, the wind will come in. If I don't drop the sails, the wind won't come in. 
Maybe I'll just put the kettle on. that I discovered, unfortunately, that this little SD card stuffed up. So a whole heap of footage is just gone. I can't tell you how the story went. I'm gutted. I mean, the wind came up for a bit and went for a nice little sail. And all sorts of other great things happened. But we'll never know. There was a great interview that I did with Tracy from the Regatta Point Holiday Park. And I went on to say how great the park is, which it is, how unreal her customer service is, friendly, with a smile, which it is. How much better it is than the other big name caravan parks, which it is. How if you've got a tent or a caravan or a camper van or a trailer sale, you should give Tracy a ring and make a booking, you'll love it. But I can't do all that now, I can't show you that because it's gone. So I've sort of just thrown together the end of the video as best I could. I'm really sorry about that.
got a lot of wind today. Well, we got some wind for about five minutes. That's okay. Did a bit of fishing, caught a little flathead, let it go, didn't catch anything else. But, as damp as it is, it's a bit cold too, in that southerly breeze. But as damp and as cold as it is, it's bloody beautiful. Yeah. Couldn't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. So, no fish, but kangaroo sausages and Greek salads, again. Mm. Bloody good. today. More rain. No wind. Mm. I think I might go home and watch Chris Bammon on YouTube. 